Hi everybody, this is another Playtime video and uh, in this video I'm giving an example of a relationship spread with five to seven cards. You can choose if you want to use five or the seven card version. It depends on uh, what the cards are saying to you and what you want to know. Mainly this is used for relationship issues. Every position will have a special meaning in a relationship situation. So when you deal out the cards, you have to follow uh, a special order. One, two, three, four, five. And then you can put number six and number seven here. Okay, now we are going to turn around the cards and I'm going to explain you the spread. We are starting our interpretation with the first three cards. The question is about a relationship and how it will go on in this situation. The first card is always showing the current stand, the situation, the issue, the main problem, just like it is in actual situation. Here with the mountain card, you can say that the relationship has reached a point there is no moving on anymore. It's, uh, it seems to be like stuck in a situation or at a certain point in the relationship. So um, it's obvious that your client is going to ask um, how it will go on or how it will be ending because he feels in a situation not moving forward. The second card is the intention card for the male character. The male partner, this card shows the intentions. He is seeing a chance in the relationship or is, he is feeling very lucky. He seems to be in a lucky situation to have this, uh, this relationship, even if, if it is at some point there is no movement anymore, but it seems to be um, enough. He still is seeing a chance in this uh, relationship. His tension is to, yes, to take this chance, for example. Um, he is feeling lucky and that's why he is in this uh, relationship. The third place is the card for the female client's intentions. This person is not very secure about the relationship. She is not secure where this whole thing is going to or will end up. There is a kind of confusion and she has no clear intention about the relationship. So now you can either move on to the next card or you can look why are the intentions like this. It's very interesting to take these cards uh, into the spread because they are explaining why, for example, he is feeling lucky and they are explaining why she is insecure about this relationship. So we are going to turn around these two cards. Okay, remember, this one seems to be lucky or is seeing a chance in the whole situation. We have here the tower. It's a kind of um, being isolated, having his own view. Um, it's a card of the ego, of the personal view. And uh, so it's not surprising that he uh, is lucky because he thinks of his interests and he's not realizing that they are already um, reached a point, have reached a point, there is no moving on anymore. He does not see that uh, she is insecure or has this insecure feelings. He's listening to his own feelings. He is looking at his own interests. Uh, he is lucky with 
this girl, so it's fine for him. Now we have here the card number 18, the dog, and the card number 6. She's insecure because of this card. That's why her intention or her feeling is like this. The dog, to me, in that case, is a third party card. She is insecure because there is another person involved. It's not important at first sight uh, in what kind this person is involved. The cards are going to tell you, hey, there is someone else, no matter if it is a friend or uh, another um, love interest, there is somebody and that is why she is going to be insecure or is at the moment insecure. Okay, now we are looking how this will end. The next card is the card um, how this is going on or how this is, uh, what will be next in the relationship. We see the fox and the fox is showing us some kind of wrongness and uh, some kind of attention. So, and uh, it is a card for misunderstanding in that case because they both are speaking a total different language. They are having different interests. He enjoys, she is insecure. He does not see that she is insecure because he is in his own situation, in his own point of view, and she is insecure because of another person. This will lead to misunderstandings and they won't uh, be able to move on. So there won't be a situation clear for them. But what can they do? What is important to do? And this is telling the last card. The last card, the stars, 16. It's a sign uh, that uh, everything has to be cleared up. She has to become clear um, who she is looking for or who she is interested in. Um, she has to be clear in her, in her heart or in her soul. He has to be clear that uh, he is only looking at himself and not seeing the whole situation together. And they have to make clear what they do expect from the relationship to decide if they move on or to decide if they both move different ways. So, okay, that was the example for this relationship spread. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, try it, it's a good time. Valentine's Day is coming up. Uh, it's a good time for love readings. So, um, yes, try to use it. It is a nice spread. Thank you for listening and joining my video. Have a good time, bye.